This is the new California Air Tools 2010A for aluminum air compressor. It's one horsepower, it's supposed to be about 60 decibels, and so far it is extremely quiet. I'll go ahead and turn this on. So it's now filling up. As you can hear, I'm talking normally. Very easy to hear still. Come over closer to the intake, and that's where most of the noise is coming from. And as you can see, it fills up quite fast. It takes about 45 seconds to get all the way up to 120 psi. And that is it. Got my airbrush hooked up to it. And the regulator set to about 25 psi. takes about a minute and a half to empty it down to where the motor kicks back on and that's about 85 psi before it re-engages and it takes about 15 seconds to recover that's it so far so good like my air compressor all right I'm gonna do a quick review here of the California Air Tools compressor 2050A and the California Air Tools 2010A and the reason I'm doing this is because the 2050A which is the half horsepower model, is rated at 56 decibels by California Air Tools, and the 2010A is rated at 60 decibels. Now, being as I'm in an apartment, I thought, well, I'd probably want the quieter one, so I bought both to compare. I've got my handy dandy Radio Shack SPL meter here on the bottom. Now, unfortunately, I'm doing this in a cell phone cam, which means I don't have control over the gain for the microphone, so I will talk periodically during this just to give you a point of sort of audible reference. So let's start with the 2050A. This is supposed to be the quieter of the two. Okay, you can see it climbing up from zero decibels. And you can see my meter here that I've placed more or less equidistant, and it's somewhere around 80 decibels, 82 decibels, somewhere in that range. And the tone of the noise is audible, but it is muffled, and you can tell from this piece here, that's a piece that comes with it, very important to attach. If you don't have that, it will be 10 decibels louder. Okay, so that's the 2050A. I'm going to go ahead and stop that. All right, now I'm going to switch. We're going to try the 2010A. This is the one that's one horsepower. All right, so here we have the 2010A. So right off the top, you can tell the character of the noise is a lot smoother than the 2050A. Although I am hearing kind of a metallic sound. There might be something loose, a loose bolt down there I have to play with, but to me, this one sounds a bit quieter. You can see from the SPL meter, well actually the SPL meter says this one's a lot louder. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I've done this measurement in a couple places, and the ones in the review show from across the room, this one is actually slightly quieter. But, so there you go. I'll go back to back again. And there's the 2050A, again. So the SPL meter says one thing, my ears say another thing. You can sort of make your own judgments. 